guys, what's up? Xantagora here, and today I am going to show you how to make a waterfall. And this is tutorial number 30. Big achievement. I think it's tutorial number 30 because I just did tutorial number 29, unless I counted wrong. <coughs> Hold on a second. Get some water. Alright, uh, so, sorry, that was like a second, but I just paused it and pressed play. You get the point. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to do a waterfall, blah, 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 blah. Um, I already c carved out this waterfall by uh, mo modifying my terrain, flattening to a certain height, and smoothening. Um, you might want to put more work into yours if you want it to look nice. I just kind of went for it and uh, did it. Also, they have this little uh, thing in brush. Uh, nat natural ice. Waterfall. You can choose a waterfall. They have waterfall and waterfall frozen. Uh, waterfall frozen looks cooler, I think, really, but I don't know. Use what you want. Um, that is in fact not the waterfall. I just want to throw that out there. You actually have to add the water. They also have this other one that's kind of cool, but it's just really blank. It doesn't have the cool rocks around it, so I don't know. So let's just leave that there. I don't exactly know what I'm going to do with that yet. In fact, I don't even want that. You can use that if you want. I showed you where it is, so therefore, haha. <laughs> Alright, so we need to open up our uh, database view. I know you can't see it, just open up database view. You'll see something looks like this. Go over to particles and open up water and just click open I already have it open I don't want to hear the warnings and then uh, this is all your water um, I don't even you, you can pick where's okay just be like a waterfall big and there's several of them um, oh crap I got it Snap to terrain. Alright, that's obviously not the one. There's so many of them, I get lost. Oh, wait. Alright, so that one might work. There we go. That's really not that big. I guess it kind of is. Anyway, uh, once you have one of them, you can see like that's a really crappy waterfall because uh, it just looks like crap. There's not very much water. Uh, if you click on it and you go up here and you press on your Y axis, just because it's your Y axis, you want to move it to the left or to the right. Press uh, C, no, Control C, and then you like spawn another one. Press Control C again, press Control C again, Control C again, and then on your very last one you click, and you've just created falling water. You might want to add rocks like that one a waterfall template, and a source like a river up here that leads down into it, just because that would look really cool. Um, but there's a lot you can do with that. I'm not gonna go into great detail because. I don't want to, but this is where crap. This is where everything is basically. Keep around a nice little rainbow. Oh, our rainbow's clear back there. Uh, all right, Let's spawn another one right here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's slightly better if we just do the whole thing. I don't know if you actually see the rainbow or not, but it's there. It's like, uh, I can move it. You can see it. I don't know if you can or not. But that's how you create a waterfall. As you can see, it's just waterfall, and you guys have to add the details, like water down here a little moat or something just add that crap um, also um, 
if you want to go to www.wizardworld.com click on forums and uh, whatever you guys are working on just go ahead and post all your crap there all the maps and stuff because we, we are really because we, we are um, starting to get a lot of really cool stuff on there a lot of really nice maps and a lot of people posting a lot of nice maps really you should see them you should probably go there just for that uh, you have to register to uh, see the maps and stuff but uh, that only takes you like two minutes um, other than that there's not really much else to say you can buy my tutorials I really haven't added the last few tutorials but if you want them just email me at wizzyworld at gmail dot com if they're not on there by the end of today or tomorrow um, I have one more tutorial maybe I don't know if I'm going to do it it's on sharks but I don't know if I'm going to do it or not oh wait crap I showed you how to add sound spots uh, if you want to uh, you can I water I f totally forgot about this um crap my map my last tutorial is about ready to open all right there we go um mm, all right so uh, if you go down to source open go to uh, environment sound spot waterfall large You can kind of put this like down here. Make sure you assign it to the terrain, though. And make sure you press play in volume of like 10, no, 110. But once you get down here, you can hear the waterfall. It's pretty cool. Pretty nifty. Sorry, I totally forgot about that. But make sure you add some water down here. May you might want to make it look nice. I'm not going to go into detail because I'm already at 7 minutes. It's going to take me forever to upload this. Um. Yep, so that's it. I might do sharks, and then I'm moving on to your guys' requests, because uh, I have one more tutorial, and then I was out of ideas, so I gotta do some requests now. I think I have like four or five of those, so, uh, Xanth Choir, signing.